Hey everyone, I uh, thought today I would take the time to talk about something that I usually don't talk about on this channel, uh, and I hope I'm not selling my soul here by talking about this. Um, it's something that people these days are reluctant to talk about uh, for whatever reason. I'm very proud of it, uh, and I thought it was timely because, as you guys saw in my last video, um, when you're watching this, I'm probably still in the Dominican Republic, and the reason why I went to the DR, or I guess... I am technically in the DR, um, and weirdly, I am about to be in the DR based on uh, when I'm filming this, uh, is because I'm there to spread the good word of Jesus Christ and spread the gospel as a short-term missionary um, for one week in the great city of Santo Domingo and Marcois, um, neither of which I've been in. Um, I have been in various countries, uh, by various I mean two, Brazil and Mexico, to also spread the word, uh, spread the gospel when I was younger. Um, Regardless, I thought I would take this video to talk about my faith and uh, me as a Christian, what that means for me, um, and to just uh, use this as an opportunity to reflect on my religious beliefs and my worldviews. Um, if you guys have been following my blog, uh, BrianGen.com, or various streams that I've been on, uh, or my tweets, um, I am pretty open about uh, my beliefs and how they align, um, but perhaps more politically than, than religiously. Um, people are often confused slash shocked, I think, by my faith, probably for a wide variety of number of reasons. Um, one, I think, uh, unless you're in tune with uh, Korean history or uh, various uh, friends groups that you have of Asian Americans, I think it's not an uh, uh, educated uh, assumption to make that an Asian would be uh, Christian. I think Christianity is often associated with Americans or white people. Um, so people are often surprised. And I think probably the way that I carry myself uh, in real life, the way that my brain seems to function, the things that I've been involved in, um, may not be best aligned with Christianity. Um, and oftentimes I think if people are surprised, it probably means I'm not doing a great job of being a Christian. More on that probably in a different video. Um, I think it's important to note that I was born into Christianity, which uh, probably means a lot slash is quite significant to one's political, religious, whatever orientation. Um, I will say that over the years, especially the past three years, once churches went on lockdown um, through quarantine and the pandemic, um, I've placed a lot of thought into what this relationship with God means, what Christianity means for me, and whether or not I was... Uh, Believing in the church as opposed to an actual God slash uh, religion or Christianity, as you may put it. Um, and I'm sure those of you in the audience might think that me being born into it may have brainwashed me or I am only conditioned to think so. But I would like to say that as a pretty skeptical person, as a pretty logical person, and as uh, someone that considers oneself to be decently intelligent, um, I am not blindedly uh, believing in something that I've never tested. And fr quite frankly, on the daily, even as you're watching this video, even as I'm making this video, I am uh, struggling slash wrestling with my faith as a whole. Um, one other thing that I meant that may surprise you guys, uh, many of you guys who have come to this channel uh, through my investment making content and now NFT Web3 stuff is my ultimate goal has always been to be a missionary, um, which is why this week away means a lot to me. Um, which is why I want to be super focused and I'm probably going to turn off everything or I guess as you're watching this, I have turned off everything to disconnect. Um, and yeah, you heard it right. I've always wanted to be a missionary and spread the gospel. And I think that God's talents that has uh, that he has given me very uh, gratefully and also just um, what the world might see as, as natural talents or skills align best with uh, spreading the word, meeting new people, um, convincing them of a certain way um, and being with uh, people of all ages in new cultures and uh, using language to uh, administer things. I think my strength and forte lies there as opposed to making PowerPoints and selling JPEGs. Um, I think, I, as I mentioned before, I, I grew a lot during COVID. Um, it's a constant wrestle. I, I don't think I'm going to touch too much on what my beliefs are. I will summarize by saying that I'm pretty textbook Christian. So whatever you guys may see, on Reddit about how can Christians believe X, Y, Z or uh, things that are controversial. I probably believe uh, most, if not all those things. Um, I am one of those people that take the Bible literally. I'm Presbyterian. I don't know what that means for you. Um, I, I truly believe uh, and, and I'm very firm in my belief in the Lord. And uh, but, but long story short, uh, as you, I'm sure, have studied Christianity, if you have gone through a certain level of education, I believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. We deserve nothing but death. Um, but through Jesus' sacrifice and resurrection, we're now able to have everlasting life. We believe him 
as our Lord and Savior, um, as expressed by John 3.16 and countless other uh, verses in the Bible. Um, a couple things that I have logically come to, um, and I'm kind of all over the place because this video is truly not in script and I want it to be as raw and as real as possible with no edits, um, is the Bible is very clear about the world ever becoming worse under uh, Satan's rule and um, the world being relatively a, a dark place filled with sin. Um, and it's no surprise to me that there is constant uh, a decline of, of mental health, people being sad, depressed, and uh, what people may think as Christian values being uh, uh, extinguished and uh, being fought against. Um, these are signs to me, um, and I am no uh, crazy end of the world 2012 uh, uh, Armageddon type of person. I don't, I don't, I actually firmly, uh, theologically believe that they don't, no one can know when the end is slash understand when the end is. Um, but those signs, those secular signs, um, have been reassuring slash reaffirmations for me that, um, there must be at least something, um, out there that is causing all these things slash it's no surprise to me that these things are happening. In fact, if the world was constantly getting better and there were no problems and people were becoming ever growingly more happy and more content, then I think my faith would not be as strong as I should not exist because then it tells me that there is a means to an end through human means alone. Um, something else that I'm very keen to, something that always is uh, a reconfirmation for me, for my faith, is that nothing truly is at my will or my effort. I look at my 24-year, 25-year lifetime and... Every step of the way, um, it has been very little of my effort and much of what non-religious people might call coincidence or luck. Um, and sure, I might have survivor or confirmation biases, whatever you want to see it as. But for me, um, and I hate, I also hate using the words for me because that makes it almost an opinion. For me, it's it, for me again, it's fact. My worldview is that um, God has it all under control and under His uh, plan and power. But long story short, every step of the way, it has been. Very little of me and much of him. Um, and I have countless examples, career-wise, life-wise, everything that I am to this day, looking back, has been perfectly aligned for and according to his plan for me, um, which I am growingly more sure of because I am someone of relatively minimal effort and a lot have uh, come very easily for me. Um, and, and of course, there has been struggles and I think it's an ever-growing battle slash wrestle slash struggle between me and God and me and others. But once again, I want, I want to iterate and, and emphasize the point that I am really trying to understand and learn these days that nothing has come through me or my efforts. And that is comfort for me. I think if I growingly become self-dependent and many things come as a result of my own doing, then I wouldn't need God and I wouldn't seek God. But I think it's a constant reminder that there is truly a being out there that not only cares for me, but has a plan for me and is using me um, according to his plan. Um, I, I I really wanted to make this video for a very long time. I think that, um, of course, I am no celebrity. I don't have massive uh, influence or following, but um, this is something that has great influence in my life, if not the most influence in my life. And the fact that uh, in a platform that I have influence over, I didn't transcend slash uh, transition that influence onto this. Uh, seemed wrong to me. Um, I also think that it's valuable such important as viewers to understand where my thoughts and feelings and opinions come from. Of course, a lot of my content has nothing to do with worldviews or religion, but as that slowly creeps through and I want to use this platform more to express who I am and what I believe in uh, versus simply just uh, express factoids and uh, value adds, I, I think that it's important to really understand where I'm coming from. And I think something that I'm very good at is conveying things, dumbing things down. And if not this, then 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 what is kind of my doing? This is not turning into a Christian sellout channel or I'll be going over the Bible every week. Um, number one, I'm not educated enough to do that. But two, I have plenty of other things that I want, also want to talk about. Uh, but I think I, I want to open up discourse slash allow for people to really speak their mind in this day of growing age where many opinions are not only silenced, but... Uh, difficult to talk about. And I'm very comfortable talking about those things. I'm very happy to engage in discussions. And I think it's worth uh, growing my own faith, my own worldview uh, by doing those things. Um, for those of you that made it this far, I really appreciate you listening through what I've been thinking. It's kind of been jumbled. Um, I'll probably still be in the DR by the time you watch this video. So uh, pray for me if you are <laughs> into that kind of stuff. Um, as always, I, I, I thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, 
happy to talk through these things if you have similar thoughts, similar concerns, similar uh, wrestling uh, throughout your life. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Let's go.